Hello. This is Donna. I am going to get a little closer. Pardon my reach. Let's see if this is any better. I am just trying to set up everything. Make sure that everything's in the right spot. <laughs> All right. So, a couple things I wanted to show you. Today I'm going to be showing you the Expressions of Kindness kit and also my card class to go using the Attention Shoppers stamp set. So welcome to my channel. This is Donna's Creative Space and I am Donna. If you haven't been here before, welcome. And if you have been here before, hello and thanks for coming back. So today I am going to, like I said, I'm going to show you this Expressions of Kindness kit. It's one of Stampin' Up's online exclusives. If you don't understand what online exclusive means, it doesn't mean that only demonstrators can buy it. That's what some people think. Um, some people don't realize that there are even these online exclusives exist with Stampin' Up, but they do. And they're just items that Stampin' Up is going to keep adding to their inventory, but not change their catalog. So if you're ever in the shopping mood, go visit my DonnaSingleton.StampinUp.net and um, shop with me and just in the search field, add, type in online exclusives and you'll see a, a, a whole bunch of stuff that you can only get online. Stamp sets and die sets and, and um, embellishments and kits, all kinds of things that they just keep making the items and they can't continually update the catalog. So they are calling them online exclusives. So this is an online exclusive. This is my card class to go kit. I'm going to first put this aside for one second and tell you about my card class to go kit. Um, if you shop with me between July, oops, July, I should take that down so that I don't keep moving it. July 1st through the 20th. And this host, this QR code um, will work. If you scan it, it should bring you right to using my host code. So you could try that. If it doesn't work, just um, go in and... Gosh, I'm still crooked. Let me see if I can straighten this out a bit. Um, oh, that I just made it worse. Hang on. Maybe I have to go up higher. I'll bring this lower. Let me see. There's such a delay with Facebook, so you can't always... I'm going to put that straight there, and then I'm going to adjust the top piece here. Because I don't understand why. Let me see if I come closer, if it makes it... I think I lose space. Yeah, it gets closer, but I do like it closer. So maybe I'll just move this to down here. How's that? I think that's good. And then I can work off to the side. Yeah, maybe a little bit more to the left. Okay, sorry about all that. I just want to not cover that so that in case you want to try using the host code, you can. All right, so. If you use this host code between, oh my goodness, every time I try to adjust this, oop, oop, I might have done it, oop, let me see. So if you use my host code ZJAW3EJR during um, July 1st through the 20th, and if you shop and spend uh, $50 or more, you will get my, oh, hang on a sec, my card class to go kit, which is um, this month I'm using attention shoppers and you will get enough supplies to make two of each of these cards. So I'll show you the cards. A happy birthday, a shopping is always a good idea. A, whoops, just for you and a treat yourself card. So. You'll get enough supplies to make all four of these cards. You will need your own stamp set. 
I mean, some people just shop with me. They buy whatever they want, and then they um, just use my um, bits and pieces from the card kit. But you will need, I, I supply you with basic white paper to do all the stamping. You'll definitely get like the, um, any of the die cuts. But if you um, have to stamp first and then either punch or die cut out, you have to have the, the, the die set. All right. Um, so, but otherwise I will supply you with everything. I think I'm even going to, I think I may even do your embossing for you. So I have two that use the embossing folders. So if you're interested, shop with me, use that host code before the 20th of the month, and I will send you a kit with all the supplies and printed instructions to make eight cards, two of each of these designs. And like I said, you'll stamp and color on basic white, and you'll use the um, dies that come along with the bundle, the Attention Shoppers Bundle. You'll get If you buy them together, you'll get 10% discount. If you buy them separately, then you don't get the discount. But anyway, shop with me, get these cards. They'll ship out after the 20th, probably around the 20th, uh, no, 23rd to 25th. And um, it's such a cute stamp set. It's kind of overlooked, but it has some really fun designs, simple little designs. So I'll show you again, like this little plant and then the little bouquet of flowers, birthday cake, and I filled this shopping cart with a bottle of wine and a couple of shopping bags. So those are those. That is the card class to go kit. You, if you can't afford to get the die set, you could probably fussy cut all these images out. I will provide be providing the um, the die cut of the shopping cart and the the legs to the shopping cart. So these two pieces I'm gonna cut out for you as part of the kit. Um, so you would, but you would just need to be able to cut out all the other designs, or you could probably just stamp them right behind the card. All right, that's that. Okay, so now what I want to show you now is, let's see, let me move this again, because I don't like where it is. Maybe here? It is so hard to see what you guys are seeing. Maybe that's good. All right, I'm going to leave it there. All right, so this is the new kit. Well, one of the new kits, one of the new online exclusives. It is called Expressions of Kindness. You can get it online. And um, this this is the stamp set. All these online exclusives, if, if the stamping involved, you'll get the stamp and ink with it. All right, this one says, wishing you the happiest birthday. Just to note, there's some grid paper kind of cross-hatching stamp. Then this looks like a flower, like a thistle flower maybe. And then there's this kindly deliver too. That's kind of cute. Okay, so that's the stamp set you get. You get a Blackberry Bliss ink spot with this one. Oop, I, I gotta come a little bit lower. I'm out of the image area, sorry about that. So hopefully you saw all this. And so you get this Blackberry Bliss ink spot. And with this one, we're getting some ribbon. Let me open these up. And see, this is a pretty white woven ribbon. And just for your knowledge, it's three eighths of an inch wide. Okay, so the way these come, these come in this type of box here, right? And like I said, it comes with everything you need. Some of the boxes, some of the kits do not have um, ink because all it is is you just put it together with whatever they supplied. You did, there's no like stamping. It might be just die cutting. This one, however, oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Wait, you see, these are very similar to paper pumpkin. However, every single one of these comes with a clear block. So these are great for gifts. Look at this. Because someone could just take this and if they have a pair of scissors, they can do the whole kit, right? Let me get rid of the trash. And they can make these cards without even um, uh, having any, needing anything else. I like to pull out my um, adhesive runner, but you could use the, they, they give you these glue dots, but you could use whatever you have. I like to use, I also like to use, if I have the full stamp set, I like to use the full stamp set. But this is a great way of checking out other Stampin' Up! colors, like this Blackberry Bliss 
let me grab mine. So I have my full stamp set, but let me just look at this because this one has a little bit of bumps on it, but I'm going to try using it. If not, I'll open this up. Um, so this set, you get the acrylic block, you get your ink spot, and which is just a little mini ink pad. And then you get the stamp, glue dots in this one, dimensionals, and these cute, really, well, not cute, pretty. They're like, I don't know if you can see the sparkle on them. They're kind of coppery gold, I'd say. Jeez, I'm really, I'm not holding this in the image area. I'm, I've changed the, the location of my camera. I haven't done a video in a while, and I moved my mount. So I've changed the location of the mount. So the camera's kind of, I don't know, wonky, the positioning anyway. All right, so this is what we get in the kit. Of course, you get directions. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the instructions. Oh, look, at this is going to make eight cards. And look at the envelopes. are beautiful. Wow. Um, eight cards and the written instructions. They're kind of all pictorial. So not a lot of words. It just tells you like the ink spot and it tells you, you know, to put the, the what stamp you're going to use on the block. Right. Let's see if I'm, I want to make sure I'm staying in the image area. And um, what you have to cut, it says to cut the ribbon six and a quarter inches long. Uh, what else? And it'll tell you wh where to put the, um, see, maybe you can see this if I bring it up, the dimensionals. Can you see that? Let's see if I can get my pokey tool out. See how they have three dimensionals on there? Uh, I don't know. This The view isn't great. but um, And then what you're going to use for embellishment. So... They, it has all the instructions on here, so it's kind of nice. So I'm going to keep those out because we are going to make make all the cards. So there's three. Looks like there's three. One, two. Well, maybe there's three cards. Let me look at the the front again. Oh, this is the stamping of the envelope, I think. Or is that another card? Four of these. Four of these. Eight. Well, let's see. Let's look at all the supplies and we'll see where we go from there. All right. Put that aside. So so we have four envelopes that are like this. So pretty. All right, that's the backs of them. Or front, I don't know. This is where you'd put the your address so that even the backs are decorated. And then we have four like this. Pretty. Pretty. And then we have the card bases. So I guess that was just showing us the decoration of the look at these card bases goodness isn't that gorgeous like all the work is done for you so this is going to be a quick kit so what i'm going to do is while i'm showing you, i'm going to take one of everything out and um put the rest in the box i'll take one of these and i'm going to quickly fold them and oh my goodness gorgeous all right so let me just look at the cover while I get the supplies out for everything. All right, let's see. So for this card, right, we are gonna be stamping on this sentiment. I mean, this um, label and goodness gracious, I, don't, I can't lean forward in this because my um, stomach or chest shows. But anyway, um, so in this, for this card, we're going to be using this label. And for this one, we are going to be using, obviously, this other label. Now, they've given you an extra one. So you have, you're going to make four of each. So I have five of everything. All right. And then sometimes I'll stamp them all at once. So this, oh, my goodness. Let's look at this. This is, oh, these cards are going to be gorgeous. All right. So there we have, this one goes on this one. Look how pretty. And then we have a gold one for that one. So I guess that one's very decorated already. So maybe we don't need to do any extra embellishments aside from the ribbon. All right, so this gold piece, be very careful popping these out, goes with that one. All right, and then we have the chipboard. And the chipboard you could kind of save for another project. But I'm going to put this back over here. It won't go too far because I might need it to, um, if I make a mistake stamping, I might need that extra piece. All right, so 
as long as you have a pair of scissors. I'm going to pull out my second pair of scissors. These are my um, scissors that I use just for ribbon, cutting ribbon and twine. So I have a, um, it keeps them nice and sharp. These I can use for everything. See, I kind of have some sticky stuff on there. All right, so let's do some stamping. All right, we shall start with this first one. And so this, let's put this aside. And we're gonna do this card here. So I'm gonna pull out my Stampin' Pierce mat because it gives me a little cushion. You should use a cushion whenever you are using um, a photopolymer stamp set like this. So it is telling us to use, we want this grid, grid here first. Okay, so that gives you this, this um, D-sized block, right? And I probably should have grabbed out my cleaner. It's my scrubber. Hang on one second. Um, well, maybe I'll just use another block. I have a couple of different blocks here. Maybe I'll just use another block. Pardon my reach. But you can keep taking the stamp off after you've cut, you know, used the ink. But I think I'm just going to use another block because I have it. So I'm going to put the happiest, no, wishing you, wishing you the happiest of birthdays. So I like to put it down and then put my block on top of it. So now you can just stamp with that and then stamp with this one, then take it off. And if that's the only block you have, like if you were giving this as a gift to somebody, then you just have to, they just use the same block. All right. So we're going to take this card front. And, you know, I might decide to just do all of these since I have it out. Then I will have cards ready to go. All right, so all we're going to do is we're going to take this stamp, which is like a, a broken up grid. I don't know if you can see it. You can't really see it. When you, you'll see it once once we stamp it. And I'm gonna, going to use my Blackberry Bliss ink pad. Did I tell you about my QR code? If you scan this, you should be able to go right directly to my website and um, purchase on my website using the correct host code. All right, so this looks like we're just going to put it, I don't know, right around here. So I'm going to do all four of the cards, show you how fast. I mean, this I talked a lot at the beginning of this, so this video might be a little bit long. But I'm going to go through and do all these with the Blackberry Bliss. Now you would just use the small ink pad if you don't have the, and just kind of go like this, or you can go like that around it, just so you get it completely covered. All right. And then, so that's all done. So then we need to stamp the, hap wishing you the happiest birthdays on this. Now, another great thing about having this um, Pierce, this Pierce mat, Stampin' mat, is that it's darker than our labels. So you'll be able to see and zone in on your labels. Now I'm going to take these out because I'm going to do them all, I believe. I think I should. So wishing you the happiest birthdays and pardon my head. Let me see if I can pull it down a little bit. And I'm going to stick this right there. I should have cleaned the stamp first. Usually I like to clean them first. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stamp. I'm going to take out all four. Even though I only need five, this way I can, oops, I can pick out which one I like. I think, yeah, the leaf is up in the top right corner. Pardon my hair if that gets in the way, but I'm going to go ahead. Now I just, I just rocked a little, so I'm going to take a tissue and wipe that off because as long as you stay straight, it shouldn't get on your project, but I don't want to take the chance. So I'm going to go ahead and do, make sure I have four of these that came out good. And I am going to save this one. That was the extra one. All right, so I'm going to just close up my ink pad because I do not want, I don't want to um, drop something in it because believe me, that has happened. So I'll take one of these cards. Let's see, we need, now the only other thing we need for this is 
six and a quarter inches of ribbon. So I have my little ruler here and let's take out and this is a six inch ruler, so I'm just gonna cut a little past that with my ribbon scissors. Because I don't think it has to be totally exact, so I'm just gonna measure it six and a quarter, and then I'm gonna fold it over itself and just keep cutting. So I need four. I wasn't planning on doing all four cards, but let's see, one, two, three. Oh, and let go. And one more. So four at six, six and a quarter. And this way you'll see how fast it is to um, put things together. So we are going to, let's see. Oh, there was something else we had to st the stamp. Goodness. All right, so I don't have my stamp cleaner out here. But I do have my spray. Maybe I'll just take this one. And I will clean this. take that off I don't need this anymore and if your dye if your stamp gets um, tinted don't worry about it it's still it's clean it's just that it um, the dye in the ink just stop just kind of stains the stamp but I don't mind it because then you can actually see what it says a little bit better all right so now I would normally use a smaller block for this so um like here i'll reach out oops i just moved everything sorry about that let's see if i can get you back i'm going to use a smaller <laughs> ah, i have rearranged my desktop area and um <laughs> so so i i just like moved the whole camera when i went reaching for a block Ooh. So I'm going to go ahead. So this looks like we are going to stamp um, stamp this flower three times. Looks like we're adding it to this one, this one, this one. I don't know why they, I guess they didn't add that maybe. I don't know why. You could do whatever you want. So I'm just going to do like they said. And I'm going to add this. It's just to enhance the picture, I guess. Just like this just like this and I'll go ahead and do this real quickly on the other three cards is this the one that oh it wasn't this one it was this one over here I did the wrong one on this one so let me go back and just do this one that one's not gonna be bad matter though and one here these kits are great like I said if you need a quick um, you need to sit down and do a quick card. It's always nice to have these kits around. And they do make great gifts for people. All right, that is done. I'm going to leave this thistle on there just in case we need it for the next one. Okay. I had a lot of stuff all around. Okay, now we need to do the ribbon. So we are going to, oh, you know what they did? They stamped the envelopes at the same time. So let's see if I can get these, I can't get these blocks out without, hmm, oh, I see one. Hang on, I see one that will be perfect because it's gonna, we're gonna stamp the envelope, envelope and it's gonna say, kindly deliver to, that's kind of cute. I think I'll only do one of the envelopes just to show you because I'm not sure. I mean, I might hand this to somebody and maybe I won't want to have it. Um, <laughs> oh, right there. So all you're going to do, if you want to put this to your envelopes, it says kindly deliver to, and it's just going to go. Kind of, you know, your address will go right about here. So you're just going to try to put it right about above there because you want to leave enough room. All right. I'm not going to do the rest of the envelopes because I think I prefer to leave them blank. But that is a nice little stamp to have. Okay. Now, let me close this now that we've done that. And we are going to put this 
tag and one of our strips of ribbon onto our card. So I'm gonna take my card, grab my bone folder. All right, so it looks like it's just laid over like this and then probably trim the ends. And I am going to take some of their glue dots. And if you have a take your pick tool, this works great for these um, glue dots here because it doesn't tell us to use this. It, it actually has the, um, it actually has you, it's very, very hard to see because I almost missed it. But it has the ribbon kind of laid over this. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put my ribbon right on, on here. So if I'm going to put it like right about this. So I'm just going to put some right there and right here. Maybe I'll use three. All right. And I'll take those off. That's what I like about this um, take your pick tool. Because I hated using the glue dots that came on this. I hate a big word. I um, didn't like it so much. So I'm going to glue this on here. Just like this. Right. And then I will put... Let me put... Um, now I'll put the dimensionals on the back of this. And I'm going to put three just so it's in, it balances itself out. And they're going to go right like this. Well, you know what? I'm going to move my ribbon a little bit. I didn't do it evenly. And I want it to be able to... There. Okay. So I have enough. All right. You know what? I just I just noticed that besides they did, it looks like they stamped it twice, and I didn't pick up on that. So I'm going to go back, and it looks like they stamped um, this image twice. I'm going to go ahead and do it over what I did on this one. On these, I'll go back and I'll do it again because it. What I didn't notice, it's going to come above and below that image. So I'm gonna go back and do a little bit higher and a little bit lower on each of these. Just like that, all right? Easily fixed. Because it was hidden behind my ribbon and I was like, what the heck? All right, so I'm back to this one. Grab my ribbon and I'm gonna lay my ribbon across here. And I'll show you on the next one I'm gonna use my adhesive runner. You can use the glue dots, but I'm gonna use my adhesive runner. So now, now this will, we'll see the, oh yeah, much better. See before it was kind of hiding, kind of hiding the, um, good. So that goes on there, All right? Again, and now we just need the dots, the little adhesive. And they are telling us to use by the description here, as you can see, two big ones and three little ones. So again, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna use the back of this, the putty end. And um, it works great to pick these up, see that? And then you can position it where you want it. Pick a little big one, a little one. I always press it with my finger again. A big one down here and a little one down here, and then it has another little one way up here, just like that. And that's our card is done. Oh, what should we should do is what I like to do. They've left them the ends straight, but I'm gonna go in. I like to put things at an angle, just like that. Okay, and there we have it, our first card. So I'm gonna go ahead and I will do these. I've stamped them all. I'm not gonna do them in front of you, but I've stamped them all. That way I can go back and do these real quick. So I'm gonna take my, my um, this, this is what I call like TV work. I like to grab anything that I can just sit at night when I'm watching TV. I do not like to not be doing anything. I like to have my hands moving. So I'll put this aside and I'll make those, I'll just assemble them. Okay, so the next card, that one's very pretty. And we did the envelope. Where did I put the envelope? Here. So that's with the stamped envelope. All right? 
There we have that one. All right, so the next one, we are going to... Oh, look, we're going to first, we're going to stamp on those, that punched out piece. So where did I put all that? <laughs> here it is. It's right here. So they want us to stamp that thistle thing on these. All right. So I'm going to grab the other ones. All right. And I am going to grab a piece of scrap paper. So I can put it underneath, All right? And we're going to start with this. And we're gonna stamp two. So this is just, the scrap paper is just so that when it goes off the edge, see? I don't wanna get it on my, um, I'm gonna leave these right on the card stock. I mean, that before I punch it out, it's still, it just still came out a little bit. And we have one, do we have one extra of these? Oh no, that was one. This is another one. Oops, and then we turn it around. Do the other end. All right, I won't punch these out. I will leave them with the cards so that when I go back to do all these other cards in front of the TV set, I'll have them already done and ready to go because it doesn't look like uh oh, wait a sec. Oh yeah, that's the envelope. So, okay, okay, I wanna tell you something. So this is, so on your envelope, this other envelope, we can do it on here also. If you want, there's the front and the back. So it doesn't show it doing it, it just has the kindly deliver. But if you want, you could just do that same thing on these envelopes. I don't think I'm going to for now. I'm just going to leave it and um, we need the just a note next. So I am going to, I really should have my scrubber out. I wasn't thinking about, thinking ahead. I've been in here cleaning my, trying to clean my craft room and I said, oh, I haven't done a um, video in quite a while. So I thought I'd, pop in and do this so let me and I usually clean these when they're brand new all right so just to note so let's see we have that done we have that get rid of my, my scrap paper I should have one other so I'm gonna leave them no I'm not I'm gonna pop them out because I like to be able to see the outline against the dark background so that always is helpful I think so if you're stamping whether it's a um, any kind of stamp, right? Red rubber with the cushion or the photopolymer. photopolymer you want the cushion underneath. That's why I'm using this stampin' mat. But, um, or magazine, pad of paper, whatever. You just want some sort of cushion underneath, right? Now, if you were stamping like a, a label like this and you want to make sure you get it inside the label, sometimes... Our blocks are about the same size as our label or as a stamp. And you, this way you put it on, you put your label on a piece of dark, something dark. Well, this I'm using happens to be my stamp pad. But if you just used a piece a, of dark cardstock, just so you can see the outside of this label, it just helps. You'll see what I mean. Try it sometime. It just helps you aim for the center of that. Because if you did this on white, like, you know, it might not show up as well. I mean, this has a little tint to it, especially when you're doing white labels and you don't want a white background. So I could have saved one of these, but I will definitely use the just a note. All right. So I don't think we have any more stamping on this one. You can kind of, you can do the kindly deliver too on your stamp set, but I'm not going to do that one. All right. And... Now we're off to the cards. So we are going to, let's see. Oh goodness. So we're gonna take this piece, right? And take our gold. We're gonna put one little glue dot on the gold. I'm gonna pick it up with my take your pick tool. And it has it right around here. And we're gonna take that off. This is what's gonna hold it to the other thing. All right, 
and you're going to lay this on here, but it's going to be like off to the left a little bit. Watch my stems, right? Because you want it to just kind of give it some, oops, you want to give it a little bit of, you don't want it right on top. You want to give it a little bit of decoration. So there, do you see that? Let me lift the whole thing up. It's slightly off to the left of the die cut. All right. And then we're going to flip this over and we're going to use these glue dots again. I love this. Once I started using my take your pick tool for these sheet glue dots, it was like a, a game changer because I was, it just makes it so much easier. I used to pick the piece of paper up and try to peel those off and um, it was such a pain. All right. So now we have that. So this is going to go on the front of our card. Here, I didn't freeze this. Just like this. This is so, oh my gosh, look at this. Look at that wash background. And then just going to throw this on here like this. I mean, it's, you're basically getting so much done. Okay, so now, oh, so this is using also six, I'm going to close this. I don't want to drop my ribbon into it. This is also using six and a quarter inches. So I could have cut eight if I had read ahead. So let me get back to six, about six and a quarter. And then I'm just going to fold it over itself. And there's one, two, and three, four. And look, at I still have plenty of ribbon. So they definitely give you extra ribbon, right, to add to keep into your collection. And again, they want us to do the ribbon on the back of this. So I will show you how they how they want you to do it. And I'll do one like that. I'm not really sure I like doing it. Usually what I do, they want you to put the ribbon down. I'm going to give you a little hint. All right. They want you to put the ribbon down. So the ribbon is going to go like this, right? Like that. And they want you to put... Do, 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 hang on. I want to make sure they have it like this. So they want you to put the dimensionals on this to hold the ribbon on. I don't like that. So like use your glue. If you want to put it on here or your card base first, use your glue dots. I'm going to show you what I do. I'll just use my adhesive runner, right? And then I can lay this kind of at an angle, however I feel like it should go, right? that and then I can lay my note my label right on top of it like that see and that way now I can put my I just like doing that better than trying to trying to finagle these dimensionals to hold it in place so you can also put the adhesive right put a lot before you, you can go right on top with the adhesive if you wanted to and what I'm going to do is they have the end straight, so I'll leave it straight on this one, but I'm going to trim off my little ends. And this just goes right across like that. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Now we're just going to get rid of my... And these ribbons are going to go so I can do my TV work and the rest of the notes, right? All right, so now we need to put, just we need to put these on. This is so pretty. So we're gonna use, again, we're gonna use five. And it looks like, I'm gonna use my, my um, putty end to pick up the gem. See how easy it picks up. It's like that, and another big one down here, and another little one down here. And I go back and I make sure I press on it. And then another little one right about here. Look how pretty that is. That's gorgeous. Okay, so let me get rid of all this. I'll bring out the other card. So these are the two cards it made. So you're gonna get make four of these and four of these, right? So you can purchase this on my online store, Donna Singleton dot stampin' up. Net, using this host code and it'll go if it counts towards your $50 shopping spree right once you get to 50 
Gosh, I didn't realize how crooked it was. Once you get to $50, you will get my card class to go kit for free. You'll just need to buy your own um, stamp set and dies unless you, oh my goodness, I made it worse. <laughs> um, to make these four cards. So this is the four in my card class to go kit, right? And that's it. I do all the die cutting unless you have to stamp first. If you have to stamp first, you'll have to have the, the dies so that you can cut them out or you'll have to fussy cut. I will be cutting out this shopping, the, um, what do you call it? The shopping cart. So I'm gonna just do this. I'll lay these down the side here. All right, so that is my video for today. So if you would like to shop with me, you can just zoom in on that QR code and it'll take you right to my website and you can shop. And then if you get to $50 in product, I will send you a card kit that will make two of each of these cards. You will, but you will need your own attention shoppers stamp set and bundle okay all right so here are the card envelopes let me just show you such pretty envelopes gosh unbelievable such a nice kit all right guys that's what i have for you today and um thank you for joining me and i hope to see you next time bye bye